Hi there, I'm Noreen from Katie Sue. I just want to show you how easy it is to make the most amazing card like this. This is birthday wishes, suitable for male, female, but just look at when they open this, the surprise that's in store for the recipient. This is made from the CD theatre cards and you can see that it has everything going on around it that you'd want for a lovely card, including that lovely wraparound that we've got here. So, what would we need? What we would do, we would print out, in this instance, there's uh, two different sizes by the way, in this instance I've printed out three of the um, elements to go with this. You can see that you have all of the instructions, for instance, score before cutting, and we can see that this is the cottage background, this is the large sheet A, the cut lines and the score lines. Then we also have this beautiful image here that is going to be on the inside of your card. We also have the beginnings of your gorgeous theatre front. So again it tells you where to cut, you would cut out the outside of there and this beautiful image that we've got here. This is an optional extra if you want to have this whole printed out as a wrap around. So again we need to make sure that we've scored before we cut but nothing more complicated than that. I've also printed out one of the sheets of beautiful um, Spellbinders compatible sentiments and in this instance I'm using labels 8 for the birthday and labels 18 for the just for you. One of the other things that I've done is I've already started to prepare the flower soft so that you get the full image when I've actually got this all sorted out. So your first thing I've got these cut out and I've got it scored where it's told me to score. So that score falls over here and this score is also a centre score too. It tells me to glue the tab. So I'm going to just use some of the Flower Soft glue. I could have used um, double sided tape but in this instance it's probably going to be easier just to be able to slide that into position and press down. So that we'll know that we've got that in exactly the right position for that. Any little excesses you can always trim down over. So it tells you to fold that back. So what we're going to do now is to fold those two pieces together, glue them. So again, flower soft glue. I will print these pieces on a decent weight card. And where we've got the actual front of the theatre card, I would print them onto good quality paper. So you can see that we've got the start of our card here. Okay then, so I've now got the other pieces and you can see that I've started already to put the flower soft on. You can see how amazing that is. So perhaps if I was to show you that front version again, which is here, just look at the difference once you've added your flower soft to that. The difference in the textures and the dimension truly brings that to life. So what we then have to do is and this is in the instructions, so you would just put a little run of glue down either side, just on the edges there, and again we're going to slide this into position and place this on the left side here, and then just lift this up and place this on the right side there. Just takes a little couple of minutes to make sure that we've got that perfectly in position. You can see the glue works straight away. So now then, how do we get this folded? What you would do is just gently fold that in over so that you've got the correct position just for a nice light fold on the inside of your card so you can see that there. I've also said to glue the tab, so you could use either your double-sided tape, which may be worth doing in this instance. So we'll put your double-sided tape down either side where it says to glue the tab. And these are going to make such interesting cards. As I say, there's loads and loads of people who just absolutely adore the countryside. We're always saying there's not enough cards out there for men. These are just absolutely Perfect for all occasions. 
and of course in the CD there's a multitude of different things so we've got all the beautiful cottage scenes going on but we've also got the fairies the fantasy woodland that type of thing so you're going to be able to have cards for all occasions so just make sure that I've got this double sided tape sorted out there so what I'm going to do here is I've just pulled those tabs forward and this is a good way of making sure that you've got that really lined up exactly where you want it so on here I know that I'm going to place that down there and just the little glued area you just hold on to that and then lift that tab out of the way and that ensures that you've got perfect positioning for the front of your card so again we'll make sure that we've got that in the right position before I actually press that down and then just a case of making sure that you've got this double sided tape taken off there so you can see how easily that is to be done it really does make something totally totally different to your card so I'm just gently folding that in one of the things about flower soft is you needn't be frightened of it you need to put it in a larger dish so that you can actually sprinkle it over and the flower soft could have been put on either before or after the event of making your card it really doesn't make any difference so I've done some first of all just so that you can see the effect of it when it's dry so in this instance because there's quite a lot to cover what I'm doing is just putting tiny little dabs of glue and it needs to be the flower soft glue so that we can be assured that it's going to stay on the card so I'm just doing the glue on one side I have a piece of paper underneath to catch any of the sprinkles and literally just drop that over you can if you want to just gently make sure that that's come into contact with the glue and you'll be able to see there the difference that you can achieve very very simply yet effectively look at the texture that we've achieved on there flower soft really does bring all of your images to life just put tiny little dabs of glue randomly scattered so again there's no worry about where you're doing it what I would say is don't put too much on if you feel like you'd like to add a little bit more once you've got your flower soft on then by all means you can you don't even have to wait until this is dried so again we're just going to drop that over the top a little gentle pressure make sure it's coming into contact with the glue and I'm just going to remove these so if you have a piece of paper underneath it means that you can catch all of those gorgeous sprinkles for another card okay then so we've got the wrap around already prepared and this is why it said to score before you cut it so you see we've it's enabled us then to um, make that little spine to go on the card so you can either use your double sided tape or your glue to go around the edge and the spine enables you to get that lovely tight fit on your card so I've got that beautiful image there and if you press that in quite firmly you're just going to repeat the process on the outside because it's a good quality paper that I've printed out on too then there's no worry about it actually written in the paper so you can see that we've got this gorgeous image that's going to really enthrall anybody that opens that look at that beautiful scene and then we've got this beautiful pastel image going on around the outside the birthday wishes I'm simply going to glue I've used the um, labels 8 and then I've stuck that onto some silver mirror and I've just cut around it by hand just to give that little edge and if you want to create a larger edge which I've just put onto foam pads again you would just cut around it once you've got that onto your card so I'm just going to place this on the inside 
and you can see how everything marries in beautifully the beautiful butterflies the whole country scene going on there wait until your cards dry give it a quick dab like that just to get any excess flower soft on and then you've got beautiful birthday wishes a magical scene just for you hope you've enjoyed that and you look forward to seeing some more of our um, demonstrations thank you